Let's talk about actually putting your program together. Remember we said you want to work out a minimum of three times a week. You want to be able to get your metabolic resistance training in at least three times a week. But if you can't, we understand. So at least only cycle between the top two forms of training if you can only get in three times a week. This is how I would lay it out. I would do metabolic strength training on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's three days. That's our minimum. But if you had to, for some reason, let's say you missed a Friday because you were like, hey, I'm going to hit happy hour and have a little fun, forget about getting strong and seeing my results that I really want to see. Um, you nix that out on a Friday. Well, you know you're going to go out that Friday night, so Thursday you better get your butt in and get in your high intensity interval training session. Or if you're more of a beginner or intermediate or you need a recovery day, you're just going to make it a low intensity interval training session. With me so far? Excellent. Now, assuming though that you didn't take that Friday off and you did do your metabolic strength training session, you'd still hit that Thursday. I would take one day during the week off though, right? So you can either do your high intensity interval training session on a Thursday or you can do it on a Tuesday. Same goes for the low intensity interval training session. Now there's a lot of different ways where we can mix and match this, but you see the staple of your program is your metabolic strength training. That never really needs to change. It shouldn't change. Your strength training should always be maintained throughout the rest of your life. You don't want to get weak and feeble. Tuesdays and Thursdays you could either do high intensity here or high intensity here. But let's say I do a high intensity on a Tuesday, I could just end up doing a low intensity on a Thursday. So instead of going all out in my Thursday session, I'm going to take a light so I can stimulate, still stay in shape, right? I need a recovery day. And then on a Saturday, I might want to hit a high intensity interval training session again because I only did low intensity on this day. And you have Sunday off. But even on your off day, you're not really going to fully take the entire Sunday off. Remember, we said you could do that low intensity steady state session, low intensity steady state, which is walking. I was about to say shopping for some people out there that do that, but no, hiking, or you can go biking, something that's low intensity, steady state, but still active. So to recap, three days minimum in general all across the board, if you're only getting three days in because of that happy hour day or that unexpected event, Try to fit in, say, two metabolic strength training sessions and one high intensity interval training session. But if you know that you're going to be able to work all throughout the week, you're going to do at least metabolic strength training three days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Do a high intensity during the week, do a low intensity during the week, and do a high intensity on the weekend. Or you do a high intensity during the week on either a Tuesday or Thursday. Completely take one of the days off. Just come in to wherever you're training, or if it's the bigger public, you come in and do your training here. You come in, do your low intensity steady state training, do some recovery work with the lacrosse ball, the foam roller, get your body active. You're still doing something. You hit that Thursday session with a high intensity interval training because you took Tuesday off, kind of, but not. So you do that high intensity interval training session. And then on Saturday, it's your choice of whether you want to do a high intensity interval training session or lay low a little bit and just take it easy through the interval training session that's on for that day. That's how it should be structured. That's how an intelligent program looks. It shouldn't be riddled with low intensity, low intensity, low intensity, low intensity, one high intensity and the rest low intensity. That's not going to get you anywhere. I hope this has been helpful and I hope you implement some of the strategies that we talked about today. Now, within each of the strategies that we talked about, from metabolic strength training all the way to low intensity training, we're going to have to talk a little bit more about what exactly goes into some of those programs. So here's what I need from you though. Let's start with metabolic strength training. I need you to tell me exactly what your problem is in your workouts. Are you having issues with the stomach area? Are you having issues in the butt and thigh area? Or is your problem in the back of the arms? You tell me 
which workout video you want me to create for you so you can have a better idea of what you should be doing in those metabolic strength training sessions for those troubled areas. The survey is right here below. Just shoot me exactly what it is that you want me to target in on and create that video for and also answer those other questions in the survey so I can better assist you. I hope to hear from you soon. Till next time, I hope you take some of these strategies and implement them right now.